let's assemble Blast Zone. First, carefully punch out all the pieces. We will start with Blast Zone's feet. To assemble a foot, twirl it around until this tab meets the slot and insert the two. Then squeeze the foot a little bit to give it the right shape. Next, we will need to insert the fins on his rocket feet. Each fin looks like this, and you just fold it down the center and insert into the slots around his feet, and then you will want to repeat this step with the other foot. Once you have both feet assembled, it is time to work on the lower body. The first step is to gently fold out these tabs. These will help the bottom half and top half of Blast Zone fit together. The next step, turn the piece around and insert these two tabs together. Once you are here, you will want to assemble each leg by doing the same step again, turning it over and turning it over. Each leg also has a tab that fits back into the lower body like so, and like so. There you have the lower body. Now you just need to attach the feet. The feet have tabs that go into slots at the lower legs. Just push in the leg and the tab should go right in there. All right, there you go. You can curve the knee pads for extra depth. Now you are almost done with the lower body. The last step is to add the jet flames to the base of his feet. To do this, curl the jet like so and bend each foot up and then down like this. Up at the base and then down at the end. Repeat with the other foot. Once you have both jets assembled, put them into the feet. Now, position the jets so that they hold the model stably onto the table. This may take a little bit of work and adjustment, but you will get him there and it will look like he is flying. For the top half of Blast Zone, we will start with the body core. Take it and fold the tab in. You'll notice this is another directional tab. Put the bottom in first, lock it, and slide it in. Then, give the top half a little pitch at the grating. This will give him that great shape. Next is the outside of Blast Zone's body. Take each side and insert these tabs into each other and have a shape like this. Now, take the body core and insert this tab at the back and notice the direction. Lock it up. Then we have this tab here, front and center, push it in. Then you have this tab here, again directional. It may take a little bit of work, but you will get the tab in there. If that pops open, just put it back and there we have the body assembled. Next, we will assemble each arm. To start, take the outer side of the hand and fold it over. Then, fold the inside of the hand under and the last finger also goes under. Then you will want to take the arm and curl it. Get those tabs in there and then we can shape the hand. Give the hand a nice fold this way and then pull it out and give each finger a nice angle to it. There we go, we have Blast Zone's arm. Repeat this process with the other arm. Once you have both arms finished, you can insert them into the body. The hand should be folded in, and that's how you know which arm is right and left. Insert the first arm. Use these two tabs into the slots at the back of the model. There you go. Repeat with the other arm. Notice they are in a slightly different position, and you will have to bend the arm a bit to get the tabs in there. But there we go, and the arms are in. The next step are the shoulder pads. Just give the shoulder pads a nice bend like this, and they will go into the slots on either side of Blast Zone. These interior tabs create the attachment points for Blast Zone's head, which we will assemble next. To assemble the head, first take it and do the front and back tab and slot. Again, notice the directional tab. Just lock it in there. OK. And then the back of the head goes first. There is a tab here and a slot on this piece. Insert. And then a tab here and a slot on this piece. 
there we go. We have the basic head. The next step is the crown. The crown you will want to give it a nice gentle bend and then insert it into the two outer slots on the back of Blast Zone's head. So, there is one mount and there is the second mount. And then don't close up the crown just yet because we have to put on his spout of flame. Give the flame a bend down the center and you will see it creates two slots. These go in the center slots on the back of the head and now we can complete the crown with the tab and slot. The head is complete and all we need to do is attach it to the body. To attach it to the body, take the head and give a little squeeze and line up these notches with the tabs on the inside of the body. And there we go. The top half of Blast Zone is complete. Just insert the bottom half into it and you have completed Blast Zone's body. To finish assembling Blast Zone, just connect the top and bottom halves. You may need to flex Blast Zone a little bit to make this happen. And again, position the flame so he can stand up. Once you have completed both models, you can have fun swapping them up. Make a wash zone or a blast buckler 